Good morning. Jesus Christ. The other one. We are out at Beef and Baker today. Got a couple guys from Alberta. It's been a long time since I've done a video. It's been really busy. And we're at the end of August 2022. We're hunting big walleye today. We just started out. How big's that one? Bear keeper. Yeah? 16? 16. Yeah, we'll let that go. Yeah. Nice. So, we're bottom bouncing today and we're targeting drop straight at about 30 feet. And we're just using crawlers and spinner blades. Nothing crazy. Basically, you have to find the fish. And we are the north part of the lake here. So, try to see, get some big ones. Like we've been fishing for five minutes and we've got four fish. And we've hooked a decent one. We'll check it out. Like I said, we're in about 30 feet of water. We're in a drop in deep water. Uh, late August, the fish hang on points on uh, deep water. Let's see how this one is. How big? Three pounder? Yeah. Nice. nice. Need a hand with that, man, or what? Oh, I think I got her. Okay. Actually, why don't we keep that one? That's a good eater. And we're going to fizz the fish. Once we pull them out of 30 feet, we'll fizz them. I'll show you how to do that. That is the perfect eating walleye out of Beef and Baker. It's about 18 or 19 inches. We like to let anything bigger go. Those are the good spawners. Sometimes you just camp as they die, but these ones are the ones you want. I'm going to show you how to fizz this fish that last all day in the live well. Basically just slow trolling is what bottom bouncing is. Just getting the bait in the area where they are and presenting it properly. And if you could do that and find some fish, it's annihilation. Yeah. That's measure. What do we got? Just about 12 inches, hey? Yeah, nice. That's a jump. We're gonna keep that yeah. fish. Yeah. Oh yeah, I gotta fizz them. Here we go. <laughs> Keep going. All right. So we take the walleye. This is just a cow needle. You can get it at any egg store. You want to come in about half an inch and half an inch up or so, right around there. There's no vital organs there. And you can see it bubbling out. In there. Fish on you? <laughs> <laughs> Man, we just rolled up to the spot and just started smashing. That's what it's all about. Got my eye pilot on track. I can be lazy. <laughs> Beautiful day today. Yeah, guys, we got the lodge going now on deep, and I'm pretty much here full time. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys the basement suite. So we got our basement rental here as a separate entrance. We uh, we live upstairs in the loft. And we have our fish fries in the middle section. Got Netflix and stuff on TV. Got Wi-Fi here as well. And then this is the walk out to the lake. Pretty sweet. Just have some chairs and a fire pit and just a small barbecue for now. Beautiful area. We're on Sandy Shores Resort. So Hayden's out guiding right now, and I think he got a 37 inch pike so far, the biggest. Beautiful area. Then we just have our bathroom. Got a tub and a shower in there. And then uh, bunk beds and another bed. So they say they're bigger fish, <laughs> and I'm videotaping, and I don't have the net ready. Yeah, we'll let that go. It's only 16, 17. You got a better fish on. When they're staying down and they swim under the boat, that's when you know you got a bigger fish on. So 
Uh, could be an eater. There you go. We'll see. Good stuff, boys. Double header again. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Another medium size one. Yeah. Half a pound to two pounders. They come in pretty quick. Anything over two pounds, they feel pretty heavy. When you're bottom bouncing, we're using two, two and a half ounce, two and a half ounce bottom bouncers. Here he comes. Boat flipper. So we're targeting here deep water. They're they're hitting Cisco's down there. This guy sucked a little Cisco down. We're gonna let him go. He can enjoy his meal. I gotta fizz another fish. Yeah, well I went to uh egg co-op and that's where I got my cow needles. So here these these are fin weights. Yep. I got from Jag Taylor. I think I will write his uh Instagram or Facebook on the bottom. If you guys are looking to order some of these, he custom makes them and sells them. And they're great for tournaments. It's great for fish, especially walleye like this. This guy fizzed and now he's kind of lying down. The sound, the sound of drag. Man, we've been out here for 20 minutes. I think we've caught 10 fish already, maybe more. <laughs> we'll see. Wait for that big one. This one's pulling back pretty good. Yeah. yeah. This one's pulling down. Is it net worthy though? Anything over four, three, four pounds I feel is net worthy. And it's just easier. You can't really both flip those three pounders. Get the net. Double! You guys, I got some more availability in eh, later September, October, but we're pretty booked. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, a nice that's a nice one. That's 19 and a half, oh, perfect. 20, hooks awesome. out. Uh, 19 and a half, we're gonna let that guy go. He's a good breeder. What do you got boat on? Flipper. Boat flipper. It's a little guy. Well, I'm going to show you my office, you guys. We are running a 24 volt Trova iLink. That is my baby. That is my second guide. We got a Alumacraft T Pro 195. I fit up to four people plus me in it. So we do family trips and the family trips, uh, you could up, have up to four people in the boat and we only charge for a group of three. How many fish do you think we've caught so far? Probably close to 20. 20? Yeah. yeah. This one's staying down. It's not dogging though. No, no. It's a nice fish. That could be an eater. Yeah, let's keep that one. Okay. If we get well, if we get him, he might flip off there, but if he gets off, no big deal. There's another eater. 22? Yeah, maybe. Two minutes. 25? 25? <laughs> no head shakes? No head shakes. Well, could be a branch. A thir branch fish? 35 so. feet of water. We'll see. Could be a big one, but we're uh, calling it a branch. Oh. Is there a head shake? We'll it's figure it out. Got a branch. You got a log and he's got a fish. <laughs> hey, that's a rare catch. <laughs> <laughs> you should land that and put it in the boat. Good luck. Hey, yours looks good. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It's staying down. Once I get a visual. Yeah, that's about a, that's a good fish. It's an eater, 18, 19. Yeah, even these 17, 18, 19s, they, they feel big. Yeah. Bottom bouncing and two ounces away, two, two and a half. Oh, he sucked it down. Oh, I'm gonna have to help out. I gotta work now, guys. On again, we caught, probably caught another 10 fish, haven't videotaped. This one's staying down, digging, digging. 
Oh yeah, there we go. I'll net that guy. Not a monster, but probably one of the bigger ones today. Beautiful fish. I'll let that guy go. Plenty of fish today. Down he goes. So the biggest perch I've caught at deep is just over 13 and a half inches. There's been some 14s caught. They don't get massive, massive in this lake, but there are probably 15s in here. This is more of a walleye lake, real deep lake. Fish everywhere. He's just letting one go. He's hooked up. Life is good. Probably well, possible decent one on. We'll see. Let's stand down. We're in the trip. What is it? 10 o'clock now. I find the big ones bite at high noon, personally, where I'm just lazy to get up in the morning, one of the two. But we do catch a lot of big ones at noon. That's a nice fish. We'll let that guy go. Not a monster though. It's about a two and a half pounder. Beautiful. Just released that, I'd say 19, 20 incher. And we got hooked up. Head shakes are a little slower. How's your arm feeling, man? Oh, good. Good, yeah. How many fish you got? 20 so far? Oh, probably. I'm going to burn your arms out today. Probably the biggest of the day, nothing monstrous. Okay, that one's gone. He's on. Better fish? We yeah. might be into some bigger fish, but we still haven't seen a, anything over three pounds. Three, three and a half pounds yet. So. This one's got a growth on it. It's another 19, 20 inches. Maybe 19. Adam, get the net, they say, and i just rather videotape. Oh, yeah. That's a nicer. That's an over. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah that's or right. close. Yeah, yeah that's right. about a 20, 21. No bigger, though. It's a nice fish. It's yeah. A good, that's a good tournament fish right there. Zoom. Zoom. Back down. Nice. Well, we're coming into about 11.30 here, and the wall I have not stopped. Wait, yeah. Still haven't got a giant, nope. but this is just a look at it out here. Lake Deep and Baker. Probably at 40 or 50 fish already. I need to go get a fish clicker. Yeah. That's what I need. Beautiful area. We've switched up to jigging. We just switched techniques here. And um we're just using some ultralight rods, going for some, just catch a few jigging and then we're gonna go for pike. Uh, we're waiting for the wind to pick up. It was supposed to pick up to 30 clicks today and pike are ideally better in a bit of a chop, but we'll see what happens. We're trolling, Ooh, trolling for pike. Nothing yet, we just started. We went to uh, spot in some weeds and see if we could pull some big pike out of here. Give her a go. Pike. Yeah, baby. We will see what we got. We're trolling big cranks here. It took a little bit, but we got one. We just got to land it now. There we go. That's a start. Nice. Just some big wraps we're using. We found some weed beds in about 18 feet of water. We were just telling stories and stuff. And there it goes. Nice. Perfect. Now I stink. <laughs> pike slime. We are hooked up again with the average pike. Actually, it's a little better than average. Yeah. We came to a bay and did some casting. It's been it's glass and 34 degrees. So we're working the weed beds. We got my famous cyclops on that I caught my 44 pound. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice go. fish. All right, here we go. That's about a 33 inch or so. Nice. Beautiful pike. I'm gonna get a photo here. Well, we're ending the trip. It was Darren. Yep. And 
Sheldon. Darren and Sheldon today. It's a guided trip, full day. We did the walleye and the pike. We got three pike today. It was very tough. 34 degrees, no no wind. So we did our best. We do have some something big coming up here in October. I think you guys might know what that might be. But uh, thanks for joining everyone. We'll see you next time.